Hello, beautiful person. Welcome to class. This is a 40-minute power yoga flow focusing on shoulder and chest opening. Our sequence is progressive, and that means we will be building on a base set of poses. We're going to be adding along as we go. The sequence requires you to listen carefully. We will be exploring crow pose as part of our flow. Feel free to modify as needed or come into child's pose anytime you feel tired. Let's begin. Sit comfortably on your mat. Settle the eyes from looking around. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, close your eyes. You can connect your hands to your heart or keep them rested on your lap. I want you to imagine a single pearl right at the center of your heart. A pearl is called the Queen of Jewels and it possesses a timeless quality that has continued to captivate people from the very first time it was discovered up until today. We sometimes seek for these pearls of inspiration in others, not knowing that we have our own pearls to cultivate from within. Prayer hands on top of the forehead for a clear mind. Hands to the lips, a reminder to breathe. And hands to the heart for love. Bend your right elbow, resting your palm around the nape, neck, or in between the shoulders. Left hand pulls right elbow towards the left ear. Sit up taller as you breathe in and out. Both arms up, breathe in. Exhale, switch sides. Now raise both hands up and pull your arms back as if your thumbs wanted to tap the wall behind you. Inhale, hands to the floor. Now exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale for cow belly pose, drop your belly down, gaze up. Exhale, round the upper spine, cat pose. Inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, back into cow belly. And exhale, cat pose. Tuck your toes under and press backwards for your first downward facing dog. Let's start mobilizing the shoulders. Remember to grip the mat with your fingers to lessen the weight on the base of your wrists. Inhale, round forward into plank. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Last one, inhale, forward into plank. And exhale, downward dog. Feel free to pedal the legs. Bend your knees and walk forward on your tiptoes. Inhale to look forward for flat back. Exhale, belly in and fold down. We'll stay down here. Interlock your fingers right around your lower back. Bend your knees for a little bit more balance and you can separate the feet here too. Pull your interlocked hands towards the front side of the room. You can bend your elbows, but try to breathe into the sensation around your collarbone and your shoulders. Pay attention to this stretch and breathe. Exhale, unlock the hands to the hips. Keep your back flat and stand up. Inhaling the hands to the sky. And exhale, prayer hands back to the heart.
adding on. Inhale, upward salute. Bend your elbows and look up. Open your chest. Lean back. Gaze up for a back bend and straighten the arms. Lower down, forward fold. Inhale, flat spine. Exhale, left foot will step back. Left knee drops on the floor. Lift both palms up. Bend your elbows, thumbs touch the back of the shoulders. Hands down, right hand circles up. Back knee off the ground for a twisted lunge. Right hand down, right foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Now gaze at your left ankle. We're gonna come into a three-point Downward Facing Dog. Cross the right hand behind the left shin or ankle. And turn your gaze to the left, right underneath your armpit. Transfer the right hand behind the back. We'll call this a bind and step your right foot forward, left knee down. Arms lift, bend your elbows, thumbs touch the back of the shoulders. Exhale, hands down. Back foot will slide forward into a fold. Inhale, flat back and exhale, fold. Fingertips onto the hips. Rise slowly into standing, releasing the hands into the sky for an inhale, gaze up, again, expanded chest, exhale, hands to the heart, hands to the side, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep prayer palms up into the sky, bend your elbows, thumbs touch in between the shoulders, gaze up and fold forward. Inhale, flat back, exhale, right foot steps back, right kneecap on the floor, exhale, right kneecap on the floor. Lift both arms up, bend your elbows, expand the chest as you gaze up. And slowly hands back down to the ground circling left hand up and left hand down step back downward facing dog rise onto your toes round forward into plank lower down chaturanga lift back up for up dog and exhale hips up and back downward facing dog turn your gaze to the right ankle or shin Transfer your weight onto the right side body. Twist your left hand to the right ankle, gaze under the right armpit. Look forward. Step the left foot forward, right knee down. Bend your elbows to tap the back of the shoulders. Open the chest and exhale, hands down. Back foot steps forward, inhale flat spine, and exhale fold. Hands to the hips, rise up nice and tall, sweep the arms upwards for a standing back bend, exhale hands to the heart, namaste. Hands to the sides for mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Beautiful standing back bend. Straighten the arms and dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Left foot steps back. Left knee on the floor. Sweep prayer hands up and back. Eyes upwards. Exhale, circle the hands down. Right arm sweeps up. Back knee off the floor. Hands down, step back, downward dog. Roll forward into Plankasana. Exhale, lower Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, gaze up. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Right hand crosses to left foot. Right foot steps forward. 
coming into lunge pose arms up chest opens bend your elbows sweep the hands down back foot steps forward inhaling into flat spine exhale fold hands onto the hips strong back lifts you to standing arms up again open the chest exhale hands to the heart hands to the side again inhale arms up gaze up back bend exhale dive forward inhale flat back right foot now steps back right kneecap on the ground palms sway forward and up bend back open the chest exhale hands to the floor circling left hand up and over downward facing dog rise onto your toes and roll forward plankasana exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward facing dog down dog twist left hand crosses to the right ankle step the left foot forward right knee on the floor sweep the arms up for lunge pose open the heart exhale swing the hands down and step forward swing the hands down and step forward flat back inhale exhale fold hands to the hips sweep your arms up and stand exhale hands to the heart namaste take a moment breathe and observe all the heat that you've created from within. Enjoy the movement, enjoy the energy, and begin to stand still once again for another round. We're gonna be adding crow pose right now. So step a foot back and point your toes outwards. Feet as wide as your hips, lift your arms and lower down into a squat. Place your elbows on the insides of the knees and I'd like you to squeeze your knees into your elbows as if you wanted to connect your elbows together and push your elbows away as if you wanted to widen your knees. Take your palms on the floor and float into crow pose. Keep squeezing the knees into the elbows and right toes now lower down kick your left foot back left knee down that's our transition arms up bend your elbows for lunge and circle forward the hands right arm up lunge twist exhale downward facing dog so that's the flow roll forward into plank lower chaturanga big inhale for up dog and exhale downward facing dog adjust your hands and feet as you need gaze at enjoy the stretch here and we're gonna take the right hand into a back bind so right hand on your tailbone rise onto your toes bend your knees right foot steps forward rise up into a back bend swinging now your left hand up and back as if you wanted to connect the fingertips then release the hands down to the floor standing supported warrior three so the fingers are down your back leg is kicking back into the wall keep your hips squared and lift your left leg as high as you can exhale lower down Walk the fingertips a few inches forward, inhale flat back, and exhale bow. Again, inhale flat back, exhale bow, just getting the rhythm of the breathing again. Inhale flat back, slow it down. Hands to the hips, exhale to stand, and inhale, sweep the arms up for your standing back bend. Hands to the heart, namaste. Okay, second side again let's step back point the toes slightly outwards feet hip distance apart 
lower down into the squat with your arms up breathe in try to stay as present as you can in your squat lower the hands down knees squeeze the outer elbows for crow pose gaze forward never look down when you're doing crow always try to look forward lower left toes down kick your right foot back and drop your right knee down that's our transition sweep the arms up for your lunge pose bend your elbows open up those pearls and exhale swing the hands down circling left hand up back knee off the ground for twisted low lunge lower hands to the floor palms flat step back into your down dog find relief and exhale roll forward into plank chaturanga upward facing dog strong arms exhale up and back downward facing dog adjust your hands and feet as you need okay ears are lined up with your arms in downward facing dog gripping the mat with your fingers left hand goes behind the back for a bind step your left foot forward back heel goes flat come into a back bend right arm bends behind as if you wanted to connect fingertips and lower both hands into the floor standing supported warrior three fingertips on the floor the back is strong your right leg is lifted reaching the right toes towards the back of the room hips are squared belly in as you exhale right foot lowers to meet the left okay you can pedal the knees a bit here inhaling into your flat spine exhale fold go deeper in these folds every time you do it inhale flat back and exhale how deep is your fold place your hands onto your hips strong back body to lift you up standing inhale arms lift up standing back bend actually i call this a candy cane pose exhale hands to the heart namaste okay next round rise onto your tiptoes sweep the arms up and lower down into a squat can you stay tiptoed let's flow into crow pose hands down toes float off the floor right toes down left foot steps back left knee down inhale arms up bend the elbows open up that chest exhale circle the hands forward and down right arm sweeps up for lunge twist step back downward facing dog now right leg lifts into three-legged dog shift forward one-legged plank one-legged chaturanga inhale up dog grateful for two legs exhale downward facing dog right hand binds behind right foot steps forward left hand up and back exhale warrior two inhale reverse warrior right hand goes up and over exhale cartwheel the hands to the floor inhaling into standing supported warrior three pose lift that left leg up exhale left foot lowers to meet the right for forward fold hands to the hips rise up into standing inhaling upward salute candy cane pose exhale namaste hands to the heart okay step back again we will point the toes out rise onto your tippy toes arms up and squat inhale exhale crow pose do your best whether you fly up or not left toes down right foot kicks back right knee down arms upwards gaze up open the heart exhale circle the hands forward left hand up and over step back three-legged dog left leg up inhale high plank exhale chaturanga one leg 
Inhale, Upward Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Find a great stretch here in the shoulders. Left hand binds behind. And left foot steps forward. Back heel flat. Rise up into lunge as if you wanted to connect the fingers and open into warrior two facing the right side of the room. Reverse warrior, eyes glued to the back leg. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the top of the mat. Lift your back leg into standing supported warrior three and exhale, right foot forward and bow. Inhale, flat spine. Exhale, fold hands to the hips, slowly rising up, sweep the arms up, candy cane pose, hands to the heart, namaste. Let's connect the poses together seamlessly and move as smooth as we can for this last round. Okay, inhale, rise onto your toes, arms up, slowly squat down, exhale, inhale into crow pose. And exhale, right toes down, step back, left knee down, arms up, bend your elbows, open up your chest, sweep the hands forward and down, circling right arm up and over, step back, downward facing dog, right leg lifts, three-legged dog, exhale, chaturanga, one leg, inhale, up dog, two legs, exhale, down dog, stretch. Right hand binds behind the back, right foot steps forward, left arm up, bend the elbows as if you wanted to touch the fingers and open into warrior two. Inhale, reverse, right hand sweeps up and back, exhale, cartwheel the hands to the floor. Back leg lifts for warrior three and this time prayer hands to the heart for your warrior three pose. Stand up straight and hands to the heart namaste hands to the sides step back let's do the other side continue to flow inhale rise up onto your toes arms lift exhale lower down malasana inhale into crow keep your eyes looking forward left toes down kick right foot and right knee down Arms up, bend the elbows, open up the chest. Circle the hands down, right arm sweeps up for the twist. Arms to the floor, left foot up, three-legged dog. Open that hip and swing forward into plank pose, one-legged. Chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. As you notice, we're moving a little bit faster. Stay with me. Left hand binds behind, left foot steps forward. Rise up and try to grab the fingers. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Cartwheel the hands to the floor. Stepping on the left leg, right leg lifts. Hands to the heart for warrior three. Exhale, stand and sweep the arms up for a big breath, candy cane pose, hands to the heart, namaste. Okay, take a moment to check in with how you feel right now. Breathe. With all of that movement going on, did you feel and experience the moving meditation? Even if our flow was quite fast, because we knew what to expect, our minds were able to flow with the sequence. Step your right foot back into wide-legged standing pose. Spread your arms out like a letter T. Right hand places on the shin. Triangle pose. Now left index finger and thumb. Pinch the base of your skull. And lean the back of your head into your palm like you're resting on a pillow. Release the left hand to the floor. Toes are now pointing towards the long side of your mat. Twist the right hand to the sky and peel your chest open. This is a spinal twist, so keep your spine straight and long. Now right hand binds behind you so you can feel your left top of your thigh. 
left hand crosses to right ankle and fold over that leg. Okay, other side. Sweep your hands to the other side. Point left toes to the front edge of the room. Left hand will rest on the shin or floor for trikonasana or triangle pose. Okay, now pinch the base of your skull with your index and thumb. Pull your skull away as if you wanted to lengthen your neck and lean the back of your head into your palm again just like a pillow. Release the right hand to the floor. Toes are now pointing the long side of your mat again. Twist left hand to sky and peel your chest open. Gaze looking at your left thumb. Okay, now bend that elbow. Bind that left hand behind you. Right hand crosses to the left ankle and fold over that shin. to our wide-legged stance and you can opt to stay here or rest in child's pose. Now our third option is for those that have a headstand practice. So work on your wide-legged headstand press-ups. You can interlock your hands for Shirshasana A which is headstand type 1 with the forearms on the ground interlocking your fingers or you can come into Shirshasana B which is headstand pose number 2 wherein you have the crown of the head in the floor or your arms positioned like a tripod. So this wide-legged standing pose is still considered an inversion. So even if you didn't come into a headstand, you've still been upside down and this allows us to decompress the spinal discs. Exhale and slowly roll up. Now take your time coming up because you can get dizzy. Blow out through your mouth and extend the exhalation as much as you can. Alright, come into extended child's pose with your hands as far forward as you can. Step back into downward dog and give your shoulders one last yummy yummy stretch. We're gonna come into dolphin pose. Lower your elbows down and you can stay here separating your feet just to give you a little bit more comfort. Bending your knees as much as you want. Okay, lift one leg up as high as you can, keep that leg strong and straight and still engage your core, your body and push yourself away from the ground. If you have Pincha Mayurasana in your practice, which is a forearm stand inversion, then feel free to fly and kick the other leg up. Now the trick to Pincha Mayurasana is looking a few inches past your thumbs, so a little bit forward. This is going to help balance you out so that you don't kick too far forward and you wouldn't have to worry about falling over. You can walk your fingertips a little bit more, widen the knees and nestle your belly towards the floor. Rest your elbows on the floor, take your hands into prayer pose. So maybe when we started the class, your thumbs were right around the nape and maybe by now you have progressed and feel the space in between the shoulder blades. Remember that in a yoga practice, it's all about balancing your effort and knowing when to let go of that effort. Okay, hands forward, hop into a seat. Cross your legs, be comfortable. Our peak pose for the shoulders is cow face pose, which is a deep shoulder opener, and you can use a belt to connect your hands together. 
left hand up, bend your elbow, and right hand binds behind and under. This is going to be pretty intense, so breathe as comfortably as you can and inch your way into a forward fold, only going as deep as it feels okay. Okay, you can round your spine here and imagine you wanted to touch your mat with your nose. Don't reach the point of agonizing pain, remember, breathe. Ever so slowly, come back up. Unlock the fingers, straighten the arms, and cartwheel left fingertips to the floor by your hip, and right hand goes up and over for a side body stretch. Maybe some of you got some pins and needles. <laughs> okay, cow face pose now on the other side. So it's now your right hand lifting, bend your elbows, and it's your left hand that binds behind. You can grab a belt or the back of your shirt. Lengthen the spine as you breathe and exhale, fold forward. You might feel that your second side is completely different from the other. Our rights and lefts may not always feel the same and that's fine. Take note of the difference and try to balance both sides. Always prioritize safety, but don't be afraid to play around the edges. Come back up. Again, step by step, ever so slowly. Unlock the fingers and straighten the arms. Cartwheel right fingers now to the floor by your hip and the left hand goes up and over for a side body stretch. Now we lie down on our backs, happy baby pose. Grab the outer edges of your feet and you can make this happy baby pose a deeper and more active stretch by pulling the knees towards the sides of the ribs or you can approach it in a more passive way and just let gravity do the work. Okay, supine twist. Drop your knees onto one side. Gaze towards the opposite side. And that means there is no need to control your breathing. Just allow the breath to flow naturally. And let's do the other side. Undo the body, lie down, and let's scan ourselves one last time with awareness before letting go into our Shavasana. Enjoy your physical, mental, and emotional efforts towards your self-improvement. It feels so good and just right. Enjoy the music and thank you for practicing with me.
Namaste. <laughs>